Hello, welcome to Protostar Heap Zero. So we are now going to solve the heap levels. Um, the description says this level introduces heap overflows and how they can influence code flow. So let's check the source code first. Uh, we have basic includes here. Um, and the main function uh, creates a pointer, a struct pointer, data, struct data. And data has one um, member which is called name and it is a character with 64 bytes. Um, then we create a pointer struct fp. And fp is an integer pointer to a function which does nothing. Um, afterwards we set fp to no winner. So this prints out this level has not been passed. We print out um, the addresses of the of D and of F, and then we will string copy the argument we provide to name. And afterwards we will call FP. So let's first try the level. Heap zero. Okay. Can ASDF something, level has not been passed, level has not been passed, and there we can see the values of data and the value of FP. So let's view it in, G uh, in GDB. We will disassemble main first, we will break at the end. So uh, when we call FP, Okay, so let's run this program. We hit the breakpoint and let's check um, the current value of data. But we will not look at the eighth um, element, we will look at the zeroth. So there we can see the heap. So we have there are number, some zeros in here and there are several values so um, yeah this is the heap we can see that there is a 49 here uh, a zero x 49 which is um, zero x 49 which is 37 in decimal um, what is this number? This number allocates uh, how big the next heap chunk is. So the next heap chunk here is 37 bytes, or, or the heap chunk, the whole heap chunk, um, is 37. Is, is a, has the size of uh, 73, sorry, 73, not 37, my bad. Um, how do we calculate this number? So this number gets calculated pretty easy. So we have 18 chunks right here from this point to this point. Those are 18 chunks. And each of those um, address uh, values here is 4 bytes big. So it's 18 times 4, which is 32. So 18 times 4 which is uh, 72, sorry, 72. Uh, but we have 73. What is the, um, why, it is, why is it one, one number higher? It is, one, uh, it is um, 37, uh, 73, sorry, because the last, uh, the lowest bit um, in the air uh, here, so plus one, indicates that the previous chunk is currently used or is used. It's the same with, with the number right here. 0x11 is um, 17. So 0x11 is, is 17. And the chunk size is 4 long. So 4 times 4 is 16. And plus 1 because the previous chunk is used. Now uh, we, we get to the 17. I have a small presentation. Uh, which shows how the heap gets uh, created. Hopefully it works. So, 
so there we have the the code we are at the main we are currently at d uh, which uh, is a malloc to the size uh, which um, allocates enough space for the size of the struct data so if we do that we create this heap chunk and there you can see the 0x49 again which we saw before so this is the struct data um, heap space the next one uh, we are now at point f uh, at f and this one allocates uh, enough sp space for the size of the struct of fp there is the 0x11 and there are two chunks at the end 2 which is the no winner address so there we uh, set no winner right after it so this is how the heap looks so we have um, two heap chunks the for one heap chunk for struct data one heap chunk for struct fp and in FP there is um, the no winner address. So the string copy at the end does nothing else than um, creating uh, or put our our input or the the input we control after the zero x forty nine. So maybe you get what we will do afterwards. Uh, what we will do now so what we will do now is we are going uh, we, we want to override the this address which is the address of um, no of the no winner function with the address of the winner function so uh, so um, if we call fp we don't call no winner we will call winner and this is what we want so that we pass the level so how do we do it? We first need um, the address of no winner, uh, of, of winner, sorry. So let's get out of GDB. And we will do this with um, object dump again. Object dump minus T. And we will look at heap zero. We will display everything right now. So you can see that there's a lot of stuff. So let's for, um, check for no winner and winner function. So this is the winner address, and here is the no winner address. We will remember these um, 78 at the end. This for this uh, what we saw here. This are, these are the same addresses. So we want to override this address with no winner uh, with the winner address, which is I lost it there with this address okay this address we want so how do we do it we will basically uh, because the, the the only thing we control is the arc here uh, arc v1 uh, which we, we provide to the program and what we can do is we can override the so uh, wait a second let, let us see the presentation again so what we do we will overwrite the first heap chunk, so the structured data um, chunk, up to the point to the function no winner. And then we will um, replace no winner, uh, the address of no winner, with the address of winner. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, we will try it first in GDB. Skew heap zero. Okay, let's disassemble main again. Sorry, main. Let's break at the end. So let's run the. Uh, let's run the program. Yes. And we will print out again the values we we did before. So let me get the address real quick. So there we go. There is. Um, there we are. We provide that to for us. So we want to override this one. So let's run it again with a simple Python script. Python minus c. Print out some a's. 
um, so make it 70 and then we will add our address uh, we want the address of a winner which is 64 Eighty-four zero four zero eight. Okay. Oh, we cannot open it. I think a mistake without those. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Currently struggling right here. Uh, let's do it a bit easier with a file. Now, well, let me think really quick. Let's change it. It should work. It should work. I think I just fucked up the parent disease at uh, the quotes again. Cannot open a D no such file Python three print. Let's just run run it with with some A's. Let's just run it with some A's. So not that spectacular. So we hit the breakpoint. Uh, let's disassemble the heap again. So now we can see that uh, we printed the A's afterwards, after this forty nine. And what we want to do is we want to overflow it until this point, which should be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, uh, which should be 72, I think. Yes, we should be, which should, should be 72, so up to this point, or exactly to this point, so right at the end of this this part here. So, so let's do it outside of GDB. Oops, sorry. So let's do it outside of GDB. So we will um, call heap zero. Then we will create a little a small Python script minus c print print some a's. So let's not just uh, finish it right now. We will try a bit first. So let's get the address sixty four um, eighty four zero four zero eight, and we hit a segmentation fault. So we want to call here something else. Let's change it to sixty two to seventy two, and we've passed the level. So what we have done, we have over uh, we have we've overwritten this part of the heap with uh, an address we want to jump to. So we don't jump here to a no winner. We will jump to winner. So this was uh, heap level two, uh, heap level zero from exploit exercises protostar.